Chris is creating a finer seed bed right now because for seedlings as opposed to, I'm sorry, rather for seeds as opposed to seedlings, that needs to have those small particles he was talking about, a finer seed bed. So he just was cutting it up with his shovel head. What are we planting here today? So we're gonna plant watermelon directly from seed. And you wanna look on your seed packet. On the back, usually there's information. So this says um, the depth that you wanna plant it is one half inch. Um, it gives you some other information, but that's the most important for our purposes. Often there's also plant planting dates on there. So we've made a seed bed. We've made smaller soil particles so the seed can germinate. And so it says one half inch. If for some reason your seed packet doesn't say a depth, you generally, about the, the size of the seed is the depth you want to plant it. So if it's a very small seed, you want to do an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Your bigger seeds like squash, uh, watermelons, you want to plant about a half an inch deep. So you can do this with a stick, with your finger, with a garden trowel, but you just want to make a trench in the soil. And I'm aiming for about a half inch deep. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Can you see that, Miranda? I zoomed in on it. There you go. You can see my trench. And then I'm just going to sprinkle my seed at the bottom of the trench. And because I'm using old seed, I'm actually kind of going to double up. So I'm going to seed this very thick. And then when I see how many come up, I can remove plants if I want them to be four or six inches apart or more. So I sprinkle my seeds and then you just want to gently cover up your seed with the dirt. Again, about a half an inch on this seed. And then I'm going to go ahead and either with your hand or you can use your foot, just press down that seed. Because the other thing they like is firm soil, along with small soil particles. If you press down that seed, it's going to germinate a lot better. And then, of course, um, our soil is pretty wet here, so we don't necessarily need to water it right away. But you want to water it, water it in right away, and give it some uh, consistent water over the next week to get that seed up out of the soil. Well, we're doing this for demonstration purposes. Normally, we would not plant uh, <laughs> seedlings and seeds, watermelon seeds, this close together. I plant watermelon um, about a shovel's width apart on a hill for watermelon, pumpkins, things like that, around three to four feet. So um, this is for demonstration purposes, but I think we got a pretty great idea what to do now. Uh, this is Chris Oligus right there. Chris, say hi again. Hello. Red Fox Farm for help. Thanks so much for helping us out. And we're with Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. Get your garden growing.